For all you out there who have struggled to make updates and changes to PDFs, or people that follow me that utilize digital planning that want to personalize and customize those planners by adding notations, documents, and pages, this video is for you. Over the last few months, we've researched different ways that we can help you customize, edit, and mark up PDF documents for your digital planning needs or for your collaboration with yourself, family, friends, and teams. Today we're gonna to introduce to you a software program that does just that, helps you edit and customize PDFs so you can share them with your team and help collaborate remotely. So stay with me. All right, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Brandon Boner, for creator and founder of the Key to Success Planning System, a planning system built for personal, professional development. It helps you organize not only your notes, your thoughts, and your ideas, but get a grasp on what's taking place each and every day as you move forward towards those goals and aspirations that you have for yourself. Like I said, today we're gonna to talk about a software program that's gonna help you take our planning system or any PDF for that matter and personalize it, make it your own because each of us have our own creative ideas and energies that we want to put into planning. So let's dive into this software program. All right, first and foremost, I'm gonna show you guys the application. This is what it looks like initially. The application is actually called UPDF and if you guys uh, check out the description, you guys are going to notice that there's going to be an opportunity for you to save some bucks on this application download. But when you load the application, looks like this. You can see I already have an application or one PDF file already loaded in here to my planner. And in a little bit, I'm going to show you guys how we can make some updates to this planner. Before we get into that, we're going to talk about some of the other tools that you can utilize with this software. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag in here to my finder. You're going to see that I have this PDF file right here. I take this file and I drag it right into the application. It's gonna open and it's gonna open up in the application. Now on the left side here, we can see thumbnails of all the individual pages uh, that we have in the PDF itself. Well, let's just say I wanna go ahead and make some revisions on this. Well, if I'm collaborating with somebody, well, maybe one of the things I wanna do is I wanted to maybe make this text here a little bigger. So I could go ahead and use my comment tool and I could credit I could create a comment. Please make this type larger. And I close that and you can see right there, it puts a little icon right there. So that way I can highlight the tool. As you can see, there's some different tools across the top highlight. Strike, well maybe for example, in this case, I wanted to take away the word community. I could select the word community and I could put a strike through that and I could change the color of that. And that's really nice too, because in a lot of different PDF annotation apps that allow you to do these types of features, you don't have the ability to change some of the colors. So that way, maybe there's different team members working on the project or if there's someone that needs to review it or maybe just because you're working with the design, that one color didn't show up, uh, you're able to make that change. You also have the ability to underline and add some text notes, create a text box, and even do a pencil tool. So maybe if I wanted to come in here and circle all this, I could circle all that, go back to the comment tool, put a note, remove text. And I'm gonna show you in a few minutes how you can actually go ahead and share this notepad or this PDF with somebody else, and they'll be able to visually online see all these annotations that you made. So if they're making the adjustments to the document, they can do that. You also have some different ideas where you maybe want to add, uh, if you were doing a document where you're assigning or you wanted someone else to approve uh, something that you're making changes, you have all these different stamps and stickers that you can use. You also have the ability to add different shapes and things of that nature. Maybe, maybe you want to give somebody a, a kudos for doing a really good job on laying this out. You can do that very easily. That was one of the first things I noticed with this program, just having the ability to go through and make a different array of comments and annotations to the PDF file itself. There's other things though that get even way more exciting, which I will show you in a minute. Um, but before we do that, we have the ability to reorganize the pages. Maybe in this particular case, I wanted to have this page show up before then. I could easily do that. If I wanted to replace a page, maybe there was a page I was editing myself and I wanted to go ahead and hit replace, I could do that. Maybe there was another 
template or document that I want to add to this, I easily could. And in some rare cases, I might want to split the document apart or rotate a particular pages. Uh, I also have the ability to crop. So if I want to take a particular page and I want to crop out this bottom portion for one reason or another, I find this really common on people that have invoices that are PDFs. What they'll do is they'll crop the invoice itself showing the total, but they'll leave the top portion of the invoice there so they can share that with other people in the organization. I can hit crop and now I'll crop that page. I can go back into page organize and you can see that that page has now been cropped. So I can make all these types of edits to this particular document. I can jump back into the reader mode and see those notations. Again, we crop this page here, but over on the right side, I have the ability now to export that document. I could also go ahead and password protect it. But one thing I find really cool is I can actually share this document. So I can go ahead and hit share and I can send an email to somebody. I could write a message if I wanted to, or I can also set up the fact that this sharing link is only good for a matter of a day, seven days, or even a month. And I can disable the ability for them to copy, download, or print. Well, in this case, I'm just going to copy the link. And what's really cool with this is I can now go into an email, maybe even a text message. So if I want to open up my text messages here and I want to share with Brianna that, Hey, here is this file. Could you please make the updates? she's going to get this link and she's going to see my text message. So now that I shared that file with her, I'm going to go ahead and hit save and I'm going to close this file here. And I'm just going to go back to that text message. Okay. I can open up that annotation. It's going to take me to this option where I can do guest mode. And now when I go into that document, you can see all those annotations that I made. And this was done strictly online. And I was able to share that just over a text message. So maybe if there's someone like you have a boss or someone in your marketing department, finance department, whatever is working remotely for today, and they're on their phone or they're traveling, great way to send them a markup or a document. I'm sure Brianna in a few minutes is going to wonder why do I keep sending her this file? What's she going to do with it? But that is some of the cool things that you can do with this software when it comes to marking up the PDF. All right, so guys, I just showed you how to use this software program so that you can mark up PDFs, make annotations and suggestions and share that with members of your team. But now I'm going to show you how you can use the software to mark up your PDF planners. So if you purchase a planner on Yetsi or somewhere else online, maybe you designed one yourself and you want to make some updates to it, or you're using the key to success planner, this is how you would go about making some of those updates. So let me show you how you can do that. So from here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up the key to success planner, which you see right here on the actual planning system itself. Now, when I open up the PDF, again, you're in reader mode. I can see all the different pages that are in the planner, all these hyperlinks that are in the PDF actually do work and we're going to be able to do some really cool things with those. Well, first and foremost, maybe one of the things that I want to do is I want to go into the habit tracker and I want to change uh, this text right here it says habits to break. Well, I'm going to go ahead and hit edit PDF and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select this text. It's going to default to the text that I already have in the planning system, which is really awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and put development and I can go ahead and put that in there and put the word development. Well, I'm going to add goals to it. Now, in this case, I'm going to make that type a little bit smaller and I'm going to reposition it just like such. So now I went ahead in the planner itself and I've made an adjustment to the planning system and to the text. That part is really awesome. Well, it goes way farther than that. I can go into my daily pages. I'm going to go back into reader mode and I'm going to go to January and I'm going to go to January 9th. A lot of people tell me, Hey, Brandon, when I look at these opportunities and tomorrow, I want to use these fields for different things. One of the things that commonly comes up is people say, Hey, I'm in a real estate business and I want to put down the showings. So they can come into here and they can type in where it says opportunities and you can literally change this here to showings. Maybe if your day starts at different times, maybe you don't start at 5 a.m. in the morning and you start at 8 a.m. in the morning. You can come in here and go 8 o'clock, click on the next one and you go 9 o'clock and you go through the whole planner and make updates to the times. 
Well, maybe you want military time. You could do that as well. 13, 14. So what this allows you to do is go into the planner and actually make text updates, which is absolutely awesome. The other part that's really cool, you actually can see on the left and right side that we have all of these different hyperlinks. So let's just say with those hyperlinks, we wanna create our own hyperlink now in the PDF, which is something you couldn't do before. I can go and I can see that this hyperlink links to page five. Well, I can go into my daily page, I can go into my monthly planning, and one thing I wanna do every month is I wanna be able to reference what my professional goals are. So I'm gonna go into edit PDF, and I'm gonna type in link and I'm gonna type in visible rectangle, and I'm gonna make it invisible in this case. And I'm gonna draw a little hyperbox. And I'm gonna say link to page. In this case, I'm gonna to link to page five. And then I can resize that hyperlink right there. And then what I wanna do is I wanna go into text, and I'm gonna write builder, and then I'm gonna put that particular text over top this word builder and go back into reading mode. Now when I go back into reading mode, if I go ahead and click on builder, it goes ahead and takes me to that particular page. That is absolutely fabulous and it can go even a step further. I can actually go in and if I wanted to, back into January, back into this date, if I wanted to create a hyperlink to a website, I could do so. I come into edit and I can go into link and I could create a link for a website and I actually could do weather.com and I'm just going to go ahead and put that there. I'm going to go into text mode and I'm going to type in weather just so I have a, a button and I'm just going to click off in reading mode and again once I click on there it's going to say document is trying to open weather Dot com and it'll actually go to the website uh, by simply clicking on it, it'll go to weather.com. This is really instrumental if you're deploying uh, this planner to be utilized for maybe uh, an organization or a company, you wanna link to your company website, maybe you have resources online. Well, one thing you could easily do in the system itself, you could go to our key page and you could use the custom note pages as different tallies to go out to certain areas of the planner. The last thing I wanna show you is how you could actually import your own PDF files. So we're gonna come in here, go into Organize Pages. I'm gonna to scroll to the very end of the document and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna insert a page. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit Insert. I'm gonna go from File and I'm going to choose a file. In this case, I'm going to choose to do our decision journal and hit open. And that's gonna put this right here and that is page 828. Now I'm gonna jump back up to the very first page in our planning system and jump to the key page. And I want to add something. So I'm gonna go up to text and go and edit, and I'm gonna add a text. I'm gonna put decision journal. Now I could take the time and I could go ahead and I could make that text so that it's the same font size by clicking on it. I think the font here is condensed. Um, I think it's condensed bold. Corporate, I believe that is the font itself. Okay, but now I wanna go ahead and create a link. I'm gonna create a, a link, it's gonna be invisible, and I'm gonna do that right over top of that decision journal, and I'm gonna type in link to page, and I'm typing 828. So now what I did, is if I go back to reading mode, I added text to our key page, I added a PDF file, to the planner, and when I click on Decision Journal, it takes me to that page. So guys and gals, if you are looking to take our planning system, change text, pull in other PDF documents, 
add links to it, you can do that with this software program. It is absolutely fabulous. And one thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna help support this program by providing different tiles and different tools that you can add on to our planning system as we move through the coming year. So that is super exciting. So whether it be someone that just wants to mark up a PDF file or someone who has a PDF file, potentially a planner, and wanna make some changes, this is some software that you want to check out, UPDF. If you guys have learned one thing from this, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel as we continue to cover different tools that make digital planning beneficial to each and every one. And I'm Brandon Bonifer, creator and founder of the Key to Planner, and Lord willing, I will see each and every one of you in the next video.